turning managers into leaders, helping people shine. Hi, everyone. Merge Crypto Synergy here with a Merge Management Moment, another in our ongoing series on specific strategies for leading from afar. Today's tip is to have weekly structured one-on-one -on -one meetings with your staff. Now, if you're thinking it's a good leadership practice to have weekly structured one-on-one -on -one meetings with all your staff, whether they're located in the office or working out of their homes, you're correct, <laughs> it is. But it's even more important if your staff are physically remote and you are leading from a distance. This structured one-on-one -on -one meeting should contain six agenda items. First, Start by asking your employee to share one positive highlight or accomplishment since the last meeting. Starting with a highlight sets the tone for the rest of the meeting and it serves as a huge morale booster for your employee who is working from home. Second, recap your progress on the action items from the last meeting. More on this coming up in step number six. Number three, which is what it naturally leads into, a discussion of current problems and issues. Your objective is to get your staff member to keep you in the loop and to offer input and advice as needed. This usually takes up the bulk of the meeting time, but be sure to leave enough time for the remaining three steps because step number four is to ask your employee about any issues or commitments that are looming on the horizon. What is coming up that either needs to be addressed or even more importantly, could pose a potential problem? Again, this puts you in the loop and allows you to proactively head off any issues. Number five, initiate a dialogue that probes to find out what areas your employee needs help in. This could include access to resources or an extension of a deadline or stepping in to facilitate a tricky situation. Often, staff members are reluctant to share this information because they erroneously believe that it signals their inability or exposes their shortcomings. So, so, so show them that you are there to help, not to judge. Finally, number six is to close out your conversation by summarizing the action items that came up during your meeting, both in terms of what your staff member has committed to doing and what you have promised to follow up on. This list then becomes item number two for next week's conversation. One of the unexpected bonuses of this strategy is that because your staff know that they have a scheduled one-on-one -on -one time with you each week, they tend to book fewer impromptu meetings with you since they know they will have a chance to talk to you fairly soon. Leading from afar can be challenging, both for you and your employee, which is why this strategy holding weekly structured one-on-one -on -one conversations with each of your employees may in fact be the most effective tool at your disposal when it comes to virtual leadership. This is Merge Gupta Sundarji with a Merge Management Moment. Returning managers into leaders, helping